What's going on everybody? My name is Devin Wood and today I'm going to show you how I pack my Sunny 16 Voyager backpack. So I've actually got a bigger backpack than this that I would typically bring on like a client shoot or if I knew I was doing something that required me to have a lot more of my gear. But I usually bring this thing with me pretty much on a daily basis. This bag has become my daily driver. So if I know that I'm like maybe vlogging or if I'm just doing something small or if I just want to always keep my camera on me just in case, I put my stuff in this bag. And despite the fact that it is small and compact, which I love, it has a ton of storage, which I'll show you guys in just a minute. Uh, and that's kind of one of the reasons I love using this bag so much. So I've got this thing packed up for tomorrow. I'm going to do some photo stuff with some friends. It's not client work. I don't need a ton of gear, but I've got a good amount of stuff in here and I'm gonna show you guys right now. So for starters, I have a Joby Gorillapod tripod underneath here. Now this can fit bigger tripods, these two straps down here. However, I'm just bringing my Joby Gorillapod and I don't even think I'll need it, but it's just a really good travel tripod to have. So I keep it on me pretty much all the time. So now let me flip this thing over and show you guys how I pack the rest of this bag. So starting with kind of the front compartments, if you flip this flap up here, uh, in here I just keep like my SD card case. I've got some business cards in there, a notepad and pens because you just never know when that's gonna be useful. So kind of just, you know, some stationary things. Um, and then good old microfiber cloth. You can never have enough of these. This is one from Spuds, it's a B&H one. So I kind of just keep this clipped on the zipper so I've always got it on me. And then if you open this, inside of here, I'm not gonna pull the stuff out, but I've got all kinds of just miscellaneous things like toothpicks, a couple of little camera cleaning supplies, various stuff like that that I just, it's good to have on you. So I keep that stuff in there. Um, if you open up this top access flap here, what I've got in it right now is some wires. I've got an iPhone charger and I think a USB-C wire. Uh, but also I would typically use my, uh, I would keep my Sony RX100 little point and shoot camera in this little slot right here, which I currently have for this top down shot right now. Uh, but typically I would keep that in here because it's just great to have a small compact camera that you can use for literally anything just in case. Granted, I keep my phone on me, but like I said, as small as it is, and I keep that in my top access slot because if I needed something very quick, I just flip this open, take the camera out and I'm good to go. So that's typically how I pack it from an external perspective. Now let me flip this back again. And I'll show you guys how I pack the inside of my bag. So this has one of those just kind of classic clamshell designs where it zips and the whole back opens, which I really like. I really appreciate the fact that the bag can really completely open up. Not all bags offer this, so that's definitely a huge plus. Uh, but I'll start right here with the laptop, or in this case, iPad sleeve. So I actually keep, and I'll pull it out and show you guys just so you can see how big it is. I've got a pretty big iPad. Uh, I keep my iPad, this is the iPad Pro 12.9 inch, I believe. So I keep that in there with my Apple Pencil, and then I also keep a dongle. And I like having this set up because if I wanted to quickly edit some things in Lightroom, or you know, if I wanted to just look at some photos or videos, or whatever the case is, it's just a very easy, compact way to have a mobile editing slash viewing setup, so I always keep that uh, in my bag. Now, obviously, one thing you will not see in this empty slot here is my Sony a7C, which I'm obviously using as my main camera right now, but typically, I would use the a7C in this slot right here, uh, the body itself, and then I would keep my lenses. Right now, I have the kit lens on it, which I actually don't often bring with me, uh, but what I have in my bag as far as lenses, I'll show you. Now, this is just a little silicone lens cap. This is great for like when you're vlogging or if you have a smaller lens and you can kind of just slap this on instead of having to put the plastic cap on and then pull it on and off whenever you need to. It's very easy for run and gun. Inside, I've got my Viltrox 85 millimeter lens. This is actually a pretty heavy lens. It's an all metal one, uh, but I typically keep this on me for like portrait stuff, B-roll. So I keep that in there. I've also got my 50 millimeter, which is a macro lens, uh, but this thing is nice. It's an f2.8. So you can definitely use it for like portraits, street photography. It is still very much a nifty 50. Uh, however, the fact that it has the macro capabilities makes this especially good for things like uh, shooting food. Um, not so much insects and certain things that you can't get quite as close to, but definitely for things like food or if you're trying to get like macro shots of someone's eye or something like that or some product shots, definitely a good lens to keep around. And then last but not least, my little tiny beast, the Sony 24 millimeter F 2.8 G lens. Uh, this lens just came out about two months ago and I absolutely love it. It's my go-to vlogging lens or wide angle lens. Uh, you'll notice I got only primes in my bag, which you know a lot of times people carry zooms because it just covers a much wider variety of focal ranges. However, 
when you know what you're going for and you've got a range that goes 24, 50, 85, that's typically good for me. So a lot of times I'll keep all three of these lenses in my bag. Uh, but if I did need to go super extra compact, I would just bring the 28 to 70 kit that I'm filming with right now. So it is nice to kind of have that ability, but typically I will bring all three of my primes with me. Next up, we've just got this bag where I keep extra batteries in and then also my battery bank, which is connected inside the bag because as most of you may already know, if you look here, this bag does have an external uh, charger, so you can connect your phone outside of the bag while having a battery bank connected inside the bag, which is again, super clutch, makes it easy to just kind of walk around and do your thing. So absolutely love that. So usually keep battery bank connected in here whenever I go out. Next up, I've got my Aperture MC Mini light. Uh, I've keep this thing on me almost at all times. It's an incredibly powerful light and it can do a ton of stuff. So instead of having to bring out big bulky studio lights, I'll usually just bring this thing and it can pretty much do most things that I would need in a run and gun type of situation. Uh, and then I've also got a filter pouch here. Uh, I'm actually waiting for my Sunny 16 filter pouch. Can't wait to get that. But for the time being, I just have a very generic red and black filter pouch. Next up, as for a microphone, I always, always, always keep some kind of microphone. 99% of the time, it is the Rode uh, Video Mic Go. This is a great compact vlogging microphone, awesome microphone. So if I'm doing any kind of vlogging or some you know, uh, quick video work, I'll typically keep this on me. This thing is amazing and uh, I've always got it on me. And then one more little tripod. I keep the Manfrotto Pixie Mini tripod on me. This again, great for vlogging. These two things are especially useful for vlogging. Uh, I do have the Joby Gorilla Pod, but like I said, for vlogging, I personally prefer this. It's a little bit smaller, again, more compact. That's kind of the theme of all this. It's crazy that this bag fits my compact run and gun on the go needs while also being able to fit so much stuff. I mean, you can really fit, as you can see, a ton of stuff in here, but I could also very easily take a bunch of this stuff out, just bring my zoom lens, my microphone, some batteries, and I can put maybe some clothes in here, or I can rearrange this stuff. Uh, as you guys can see, I've got a ton of these Velcro straps in here, and that's just to kind of reinforce these uh, Velcro pieces, because like I said, I've got some heavy gear in here, uh, so I just kind of threw those in there, but again, these dividers are all completely customizable, so if you have one of these bags, you really can just fine tune it to whatever you like, but that's pretty much it. This is my Voyager backpack setup. This is, again, I've got this actually packed for tomorrow, but I pack this in a ton of different ways. Sometimes I'll bring my GoPro. It really just depends on what you've got going on. But like I said, this is my pretty much everyday carry camera backpack at this point because it just fits so many needs and it's got it's just very versatile. Like I said, bring a few things and some clothes, bring all your stuff, bring most of your stuff, whatever you need. I really do feel like this bag can get that done. So that's pretty much it. That's how I pack my Voyager backpack and I hope you guys enjoy it. Thanks.